While the San Diego State men's basketball team has been enjoying a historic season in the national limelight, across town in La Jolla, there's another group experiencing similar success, but without the attention. Might it be possible that San Diego will be home to two teams with a shot to win a college basketball national championship? Well, when you take a close look at the Division II UC San Diego Tritons, there is no doubt the answer is yes. The UC San Diego Tritons won 26 of their first 27 games. And the Tritons have won a program record 13 in a row. According to their head coach, the secret to their success is no secret at all. Mostly just having really good players, you know, so that, that goes a long way. They're competitive and unselfish and they try to play the right way and we've been fortunate to have some success. Some success? The Tritons have set a school record for consecutive wins. And they come back from down 18 points. That was, I would, that's just remarkable. Even more astounding is that the winning streak happened without their top player from a year ago. Triton's leading scorer and last season's conference player of the year, Chris Hansen, went down with a foot injury just eight games into the season. Predictably, they lost their next game to Chico State. Was wide open, he'll take the three and make it. Well, we were fortunate to have a little bit of break uh, following that game. Kind of went into finals and we had a few extra days to practice and, and kind of solidify some of our, our changes. Good weekends come from good weeks in here, right? So those start on Mondays. Let's keep, let's keep putting good days together, stacking up good days, turn them into good weeks. Good move. Robert gets the steal, his sixth of the game, ahead to Oceano! The Tritons came together following their only loss. They reeled off a school record 18 consecutive wins, raising their record to 26 and one. The streak included avenging their lone loss with an eight point win over Chico State. Howell, yup. Just came out with more energy than the first game. And so having that uh, chip on our shoulder was definitely um, an edge for us. While they all stepped up, sophomore guard Terrell Roberts has become the team's leading scorer and one of the top shooting guards in the nation. Good. Get somewhere with that dribble. He's hit nearly half of his three-pointers, 48% to Here's be exact. Roberts for three, it's good. That's just a lot of extra reps and, you know, just shots, because I, I try to make at least like 200 extra shots a day. We've seen him grow a lot this year, being a leader, being a teammate, and then also, I mean, he just gets better every day and, and doesn't stop. The way he's able to choose when he wants to score, when he wants to facilitate, it's just um, next level. And Roberts answers on the other end. Even if our offense breaks down, he'll just make a shot and he's shooting a good amount of tough shots too so that number is very astonishing um, but it's just a testament to how much work he puts in it's definitely something that's been a part of my game but it's something I'm trying to improve on even more out of Wood Creek High School near Sacramento the five foot 11 inch Roberts was determined to show the D1 schools who passed on him that they had made a mistake so he took his game to UC San Diego they were like one of the first people to recruit me consistently. So um, I thought that was really, that really stood out to me. A lot of people looked over me in, in recruiting, but I had a lot to offer. I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna go where I'm wanted and show what I can do there. And uh, they'll see. In a rare act of maturity for a 17 year old, Roberts requested that he sit out his first season with the Tritons as a red shirt. It was actually my decision. I asked coach if I could. And uh, I'm glad he, he let me do that. And I think um, he doesn't regret it either. So. <laughs> he certainly was a good enough player to help us in that year. I feel like it would, um, it would be good for me to get like a year under my belt, you know, get, get a little bit stronger, get used to the system, get used to school and all that. Once he got on the court last season, Roberts was surprised to be named all conference as a redshirt freshman. And the progress continued. The 5'11 guard from Sacramento, deemed too small by most colleges, is now on the watch list for the Bevo Francis Award, which is given to the nation's best player in small college basketball. It's not something I'm going to try to think about too much. I'm just going to try to win these games and 
do what I can do for the team to help us go forward. The sky's the limit for that guy because he's just, he's really committed. What's frightening now for Triton's opponents is they'll host the conference tournament beginning March 3rd. Three punch, three shuffle each way, yep. right? Pick a pop, ball screen breakdown. And to top that, rejoining a team that made it all the way to the regional semifinal last season, their All-American scorer and rebounder, Chris Hansen, has returned. There you go. He's a talented guy that can kind of raise our ceiling as a basketball team, so we're excited to have him back. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, our guys will, will certainly navigate that over the next couple weeks, and we hope that we can get to a situation where we're playing our best basketball when, uh, when we need it. We're just going to try and keep getting better and keep pushing the envelope. My expectation for us is a national championship, nothing less. Spoken like a guy who's earning more respect on a team that's doing the same with every record-setting win.